Uh, well, when I was little, I remember I didn't quite like skiing and the ski teacher had to give me chocolate after every round to, to keep me motivated. Uh, but as soon as I started racing, then there was no need for chocolate. I was motivated myself. It was always a dream of mine to become a, to become a skier, but I think when I started the first year in FIS, I did better than the guys around my age. So probably around then I was like, yeah, maybe this could, this could be something for me. I think the best memories is always when you do something for the first time, like my first podium, my first medal at the World Junior Championships, also my first medal at the World Championships. Those are some experiences I never want to forget. And of course, uh, there's a lot of bad memories as well when there's tough times, when I had a, a big DNF streak or um, you just don't feel like you could be competitive and ski fast. So there's always ups and downs, but um, the ups that keep you going. Super happy with my coach Simone, um, but there's always a coach at home, which you know gives you a bit of more confidence. Um, when we're at home and there's um, no training, I can organize something for myself. But I try to keep a big team around me of people who always try to push me and I feel like I can learn from everybody something. Well, it's, it's always difficult to watch other athletes. I mean, everybody has something which makes them unique, but you have to see if that something suits your style of skiing or if you can try to achieve what they do. So I think it's always to take something for the others, from the others, but you have to be careful um, about what you take without um, losing your individuality in skiing, which, which if you watch the World Cup races, I think everybody has some of kind of his style. Uh, well, I think I'm pretty hard working. I always try to find um, the last hundreds of a second and I try to improve everything, not just on skiing, but on physical um, conditioning and everything that's around alpine skiing. And probably what really helped me, it's when I had tough times, I always managed to, to get the best of it and, and come out stronger. But I think uh, if you want something, you have to work for it, you have to work hard, you have to give it everything you've got because nobody gifts you anything and um, also in the hard times you just have to keep working and I think um, looking for those little details which sometimes make a big difference will really help me I think after my skin career which is far away. <laughs>